Hello, hi, welcome. Alan Wake 2, this is what we're playing today. My name is Digital Spectre, I don't want to spend too much time rambling on and on about things, so welcome, and uh, let's just jump into a new game. Back to the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. Super cool. God, I'm so excited to be able to be playing this. I've been waiting on this for such a long time. I wasn't able to, to grab it immediately, but thanks to my wonderful woman, In a horror story, there are uh, victims and monsters. she provided this for me. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. Super cool. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces. Monsters do wear, wear many faces, Alan. Man, I'm excited. And that is one hairy naked ass. That's as, this is as far as I got whenever I was trying to tweak my settings. After he pulls himself up onto the beach. No idea what the hell this is about. But I'm, I'm gonna not be panning the camera forward. Just in case you see a little uh, dangling... Uh, friend there in the frontal area. <laughs> it's bad enough that we have to look at this ass the whole time, right? So, anyhow, let's just move on. It's fucking insane looking, though. Man, Halloween is behind us, but uh, the scariest image I've seen is... <laughs> for games I played is this guy's ass. All right. Well, after some technical difficulties, I had to tweak some things here for uh, for the sake of being able to record the fucking game. Um, because, uh, yeah, it wasn't working. So I had to squish my uh, resolution and everything else. I can't play on ultra-wide. Apparently 3070 isn't, isn't strong enough to play this game. Which is unfortunate. Because I have no, uh, you know, like with my setup, it's not strong enough to run it with the setup that I have, which is unfortunate because I don't have the means to upgrade my computer for these new games. And I hope this isn't a, a trend that I have to diminish, diminish my experience like this much in order to, to, to play through it. I want to be able to experience it how it's supposed to be experienced, but, you know. Okay, alright. Harry man back. Where are we going? Hopefully this doesn't squish it down too much whenever I actually go to uh, edit this and put it up. I don't like whenever my videos are in, like, a box. Okay. Okay. Oh, Jesus fucking Christ. Holy shit. Dude, I just fucking came back from turning my volume up. Okay. I'm having some fucking... Oh, God. That doesn't sound good. I'm having some issues here. Hang on. I just want to be able to... Play the, play the game. Maybe I just won't record it. Maybe I'll just play it on my own. Which fucking sucks, because I, I don't want to do that. I want to record it. I was, I was super excited to be able to play through this game. What the fuck is happening? Holy shit. Oh god, okay. Alright. Hairy man back. Nope. Nope. 
Can I go back this way? Can I hop my naked ass over this fucking shit? No. Okay, I gotta go that way. Well, you know. Gripes aside, at least I get to play it. Maybe eventually I'll be able to uh, upgrade and experience these games how they're meant to be experienced. But I doubt it. Anytime soon, anyhow. So It's just not very often you get, you know, like these fucking AAA horror ex Oh, hi. Oh, God. AAA horror experiences? Nope. We're gonna go... Oh, my God. Why are they... St how are they... St oh, shit. Ow. How are they standing in the light? Dude, not my naked cheeks, man. My honey baked. You shot me right in the ass. Forrest Gump style. Jumped up and bit me. Oh boy. Hi guys. Hello. Oh Jesus Christ. This is fucked up. <laughs> Bro, please stop. Oh no. I'm gonna have to... Oh boy. Blur some wiener. I saw a little... A little wien... Oh boy. Oh my god. What the fuck am I supposed to do? Oh boy, how? Man, you are resilient! Yeah. 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 What the fuck? Jesus Christ. Oh boy. Fuck, this is violent. Jesus Christ. The of the stuff? And it my God, my God. What the fuck? Oh, oh shit. Help! Oh boy. Okay. Yep. Can I have to put a little mosaic over that little tiny weenie? <laughs> oh, fuck. Yo, that was fucking intense. That was just a nobody. Holy shit. Welcome to Alan Wake, guys. Fucking A. Immediately. Way different vibes from the first one. Fucking insane. Hell yeah. Holy shit. God damn. Oh, my heart's pounding. Yeah, dude. Eventually, I've got to get a fucking... I've got to get an updated card. i got to update some things in my system hey, so I can fucking... How are you? I'm good. Do the whole ray tracing thing and all that other shit. And this just, trip might take a little longer than I thought. I can play it on my widescreen without it fucking... So lately, oh taking God, a shit. Mom, it's not your fault. People get all murdery. What happened? Fuck. Just shit. Work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's Man. so good. No spoilers. I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan. God, it looks so good. I, I mean. Will. Bye, kiddo. Damn. It's a shame. Hey! It's fucking Max Payne, dude. Or Sam Lake. Whatever his name is in real life. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. I've seen her before. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. <laughs> this is awesome. Dude's always drinking coffee. I like follow him on TikTok and stuff too. He's just like drinking coffee in it random can't be a places. It's coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. The fucking Max Payne voice actor, too. Okay. 
any words oh my of god, advice. that's awesome. Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm having a fucking like nostalgia fucking overload. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. Fuck yeah, dude. Holy shit. I feel like I'm doing it a disservice by not being able to fucking experience it how it's you know to its fullest potential, but I mean, I guess that's A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. Okay. There's the car. So where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear. I'll check out that map. Hopefully an invitation. Holy shit. I see. Uh, worth memorizing. Before we get swallowed up by the trees. Well, I was able to kind of uh, fit it to my screen at I least. Take a look at that map. I just had to turn down a bunch of stuff. Definitely got to run it on this uh, resolution down from what my screen is. All right. Well, sorry guys. I'm disappointed too. I, I can't just play the game like with my setup normally. Yeah, well, such is life, I guess. Hey there, Agent Casey, right? Hello. The sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson. Uh. Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Saga. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I, I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that you know that uh. Federal agents right here, Thornton. My partner Thornton, <laughs> down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? Are they with you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out of towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Mulligan, tell him I'm here, Winky. I'll show him around. They got it, Thornton. Okay. I don't know why I'm having those lag spikes for no apparent reason. Oh boy. Okay. Well, let's just go. I wish I, mean, I don't have like a you know. Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Very Make well. sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Sweetly. Yeah, it's unfortunate that I I don't have like, I don't have like a whoa I'm just inside place. my head. My version of the mind palace technique. What the fuck? To sift through clues and work the case, building the mind place again for each case, using each field. What is she from? As a model in my head. That's cool. The facts are on the board. Gotcha, Saga. Um. Yeah, I don't have you know like a PlayStation Five or you know an Xbox whatever it is. <laughs> Uh, to play these games like in a more um, in a more uh, optimized manner or I would just record it from there you know all I have is my computer so uh, and my computer has been fine so far but apparently this game is just it doesn't it doesn't like it's not uh, it's not having it for some reason Hopefully they they release some some optimization for it pretty quickly though. Um, you know, I don't know. Everything we know about the previous murders. Because I mean, worth taking another look. Most people, I would wager, don't have like a forty eighty or forty ninety or something like that to get like you know optimal 
performance from this game. The case board is a mental technique that allows Saga to analyze clues and progress the investigation. Cool. You can use WASD to move around. You can use this and that to zoom. Copy that. You're now free to navigate. Okay. Okay, sure. Victims. All victims reported missing in 2010. No other commonalities. Ted Lane, dentist, stab wounds, bloating, bruising on the wrists. Victim was reported missing in 2010. Discovered in 2012. Buried in a shallow grave. Found in Cauldron Lake, 2018. Some organs missing. Pred predation. State of the body does not match eight years spent in a lake. Large chest wounds. Two weeks ago, chest wound was ruled as causative. Tattooing on the body is illegible. Percy Wolf store owner bruising, heart removed, stranger chest. So this was Harry Manback, right? Bruising. Recent victim died of major chest trauma consistent with 2018 victim. Hard to confirm. Due to bloating of the corpse is indicative of drowning, but only one victim was found in the water. Postmortem tattooing of the body. Murder targets have no discernible common traits. And killer may be a sportsman or a hunter. A series of murders occurred around the town of Bright Falls. Finding the connections will help person. Okay. Cool. Very well. All right. Well, this is interesting. Mine palace technique. I have no idea what the hell that means. But, uh, well, let's get to the crime scene. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking. Using mine palace does We're not pause the game, started. so be mindful of nearby threats. Let's head threats. down the hill to the crime scene. Oh, boy. It doesn't. Okay, nature. Nature's great. Be a headache. It's too much sky. I fucking love it, man. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. If you say Max. You crack cases that had the rest of us baffled. Whatever you say, I don't Max Payne. Slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Does it hike a day keep depression away? Hmm, does it? Chaos at Cauldron Lake. Rental cabins. Identified man at tax vaca vacationers in the dead of night. Missing Doberman found on the trail. I'm not going to sit here and read all this stuff because I have Bright Falls own virtual baking champ. I don't have. I'm on limited time here. But uh, yeah, I mean, it still looks nice with everything turned down <laughs> to zero. I'm going to go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Oh, cool. And they kind of communicate over radios. Okay. Well, I don't, oh, I don't have any items. Very well. Man, I'm going to keep griping about this, that, though. Just, you always end up running into that one game that's like, that forces you to be like, yeah, well, going to have to upgrade pretty soon because games are, oh, excuse me, excuse you. Games are only going to continue to fucking get crazier looking, but... This is also not, uh, I've been playing, like, mainly these crazier looking games I've been playing have been Unreal Engine 5, and I'm not sure if that engine is just... There's a route. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. <laughs> not sure if the, that engine is just better optimized uh, at handling things like this. I know this is their own engine, and it looks fucking awesome. I've seen, like, screens of it. Uh, at full maxed out settings. Mirror Peak, the mighty mountain in the distance is no other than Mirror Peak, the iconic landmark overlooking Cauldron Lake. From the right angle, its beauty will be reflected on the calm surface of the lake, mirrored in all its inverted glory. Ah. Oh. Like the deer in the beginning. Inverted. Kind of looked like one image. But yeah, you know, regardless, we still get to play a new game. New Alan Wake. That's cool. What's well, not to like, right? It's just uh I've gotten used to everything being I'll be back in a second. Roger. Being an ultra wide. And uh, now, you know, everything is not an ultra wide. <laughs> but I can't go that way. Okay. Sure. Let's go over here. I see some stuff hanging in trees. Where we go? What are those called? 
Hmm, I can't remember what they're called, but they're like... Sort of like, uh, pagan stuff. Hmm. Let's see. Waterfalls. The powerful feet of nature will revive the spirit as it does the surrounding nature. The churning, grinding waters at the bottom of the falls resemble a mortar and pestle, quite like the one the Witch of the Cauldron Lake is fabled to have used to travel through the night sky. Got some interesting lore uh, surrounding this area. Well, it's peaceful sounding. Ah. Uh, Is ooh. that a kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. My dad used to say when the going gets Casey to... Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books. But he really hates the movies. Well... I'm not sure where the tough get going, but maybe you'll find it inspiring. Manuscript fragments. What? Used to upgrade the weapons in the mine palace. What the fuck? Hold the fire button to activate auto fire mode that significantly increases the rate of fire. More bullets. Which one? I have no idea. Oh, I don't have, uh... I don't have... <laughs> I don't have nearly enough for any of this shit. Okay. Copy. Well, at least I know. The, uh... Benefits of exploration. That's nice looking game. Did you get lost, Anderson? Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Yeah. I love this. I would love to live in this area, honestly. Damn. I love hiking, so. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. Like the rain, but just the, the local nature. Law had the sense to put up a tarp. Hmm. If they did, next coffee's on me. Is that a phone booth? Hang on, let me go this way. I'm going off the beaten path, per usual. My brain will not allow me to go towards progress. Yeah, it's a nice looking game. I really wish I could fucking <laughs> experience it in all of its glory. I am not that lucky. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. Maybe I can find more manuscript pages. You. Okay, well. There is more of those. Ah. Be nice. Batteries. Can't go any further. No. Water's too deep. Bummer. Not right. eight. Well, let's just turn around. Saga. I like that name. Saga. That's cool. Interesting. Never heard that before. You know, witch's hut. Sure, I'll go to the witch's hut. Oh, I saw that from the uh, from a different angle. Here lived the witch of the cauldron lake. Beware, her spirit may still haunt this place. Oh, rubbish and poppycock! <laughs> she is only. How do I pull out my flashlight? The fuck is happening? The way the light's filtering in because my settings are, are so low, it looks weird as fuck. Oh, this is cool. I kind of like this cabin, you know? Nice. Nice hut, witch. What's in the back? Oh. I am just, like, super unconcerned with getting to that body. I can't be arsed. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let's see, Friday, Midge told me that her family's moving away. This sucks. I haven't even told her that I like her yet. What's the point anymore? She said her parents would want to get better jobs in her, uh, and get her to a better school in the big city. I guess that's fair. Who wants to stay in Bright Fucking Falls? I don't know. I kind of want to stay in Bright Fucking Falls. Maybe it's because I'm old. <laughs> so I told her. She said thanks. Fucking kill me. I snuck out last night again, went to the big house by the lake instead of just watching it from here like I always do instead of just sitting around like I always do. Screw that. Anyway, something weird is going on down there. I'm going to find out what. I'm going to go back there tomorrow with better gear. I bet I can find a way inside the building. Take some photos. It's going to be epic. I'm sure it will, buddy. More pages? No. Whatever that is. Painkillers? A lunchbox again. Oh, wait, where? Who's leaving these out here? 
I don't know. I know things can get a little crazy around here, but if you're ever feeling scared, just remember that Alan is watching over us. Okay. Interesting. And I've got one, so I've got three total. Nice. Okay. Oh, well, let us get back to Max Payne. Maximus Payne. That's just super cool. Sam Lake's face and Max Payne's voice. Like the old Max Payne. Which... <laughs> fucking... Re... Uh, redoing the Max Payne games as well. I'll definitely be partaking in that. Hopefully I don't have to fucking... Buy a goddamn... Spaceship to run the fucking game. <laughs> oh shit. Oh god, that's a lot. There's no mystery in Cauldron Lake. There's no mystery in Cauldron Lake being named after its cauldron shape, and yet there are many mysterious stories about the lake, it being a gloomy doorway to the underworld or of a witch whose cauldron the lake really was. The legend tells that when the affections of a local sheriff went unanswered, he accused the lady in question of having bewitched him. She was drowned, but dro her dropped ladle grew into a strange tree named Witch's Ladle. On return to avenge her wrongdoers, if she was not a witch before she was one now, she killed the sheriff, drowning him in the lake. Then she took out his heart and locked it in a box. With the heart, she would summon him from the lake to exact revenge on her behalf. Also, the legend goes... Very interesting. I'm guessing this is probably a whole lot of nothing. I can just wander about a little bit. Kind of give you some sense of freedom. Yeah, no? Ugh. Okay. I don't know what the fuck just happened. I don't know why my uh, game decided to back out onto my desktop. Whoa. That is one hell of a tree. Footprints. What the fuck? Yeah, there's something there. Logan's Charm. Trauma pad, okay, so bandages. What the fuck is that? Why can't I pick it up? What? Why is E flashlight? Weird. Okay. There's clearly something sitting right there, but for some reason, I'm not interested in it. Alright, moving on. Control is my inventory. E is my flashlight. God, this is going to take some getting used to. Alright. Well, let's try and find the fucking... Find our way back to the dead guy. Max? Oh, here we are. Hello, Mr. Dead Body. Oh boy. Oh, oh. We got some blurring to do. Oh my goodness. Did you get lost, Anderson? What are you asking me that? Oh, hey, guys. Deputy Thornton. I don't I take it. Yeah, that's me. Mulligan told me you were coming the other way. Well, I uh, the scene of the crime. decided we to. Uh, him on the table. And we didn't touch nothing, you know. Are you sure about that? And hmm? stuff. You sure? Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Okay. Does this fit the MO of the previous murders? Well, let's find Body out. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. You can unlock your first key image. You can place it in the case board inside of the mind palace. Okay. Cauldron Lake murder scene. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? Hmm. Consistent with previous murders. Interesting. Okay. Key image plays to prompt a new question. Objectives are viewable at the case board in your goals. You're now free to examine the case board or leave. What the fuck? Okay. This is cool. Kind of like building cases and whatnot. Wow. There's a lot in, uh, goes into this. The killer left the heart right next to the body. Boy, sure did. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. 
Inside stab wound. Chest cut open. Oh boy. Heart removed. Gross. Okay. Fuck. Okay. Heart removed from chest. Strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. Yeah, I'm having to do this some makes detecting. Four murders that we know about. Interesting. Clues have resolved the open question and unlocked a deduction. As you advance the investigation, new questions be unlocked, updating your goals. Victim. What does this say? The killer or killers. Learn more about the victim, learn more about the killers. Roger that. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Harry Manback. Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. Yeah? The victim died here. No. <laughs> well, you don't say. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Look at all those footsie prints. Let's see, what else we got? Something else over there. I'm FBIing, you know. I am uh, Someone was drinking beer. Quite the FBI. They spent time here. Waiting. Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Oh. Was it for a camera? Probably for a camera. But where is said camera? I wonder. Okay. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. Nightingale. He, was FBI. he came to town about 13 he years was ago. FBI. I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. And now he's dead on the Nightingale. table. Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. Yes, that's right. That's what I thought. <laughs> you fucker. All right. Well, hey, they appreciate that deputy. Is this just where it ends? Kay. Was he killed here or brought here after? For display. He said he died here. No, he was killed right here. So you knew our victim. Oh, talk well, down. I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. So he's been missing Nightingale since went missing 13 years ago. 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Probably. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Rarely. Okay. All right, let's check on the victim. Robert Nightingale, okay. ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Gotcha. So we know who he is. Well, let's learn more about the killer. <clears throat> so we got footprints. Blood spatter. Footprints. Indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. Yeah. Premeditation or spontaneous. Well, there was a tripod, so it's probably me premeditated. And they were having a party beforehand. They planned for the murder <laughs> to happen here. So, yeah. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. So it would seem. So why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Because Alan decided to start writing again. <laughs> Why here? Why now? You know. Victim came from... 
Oh, something going Profiling. on. In the oh. Get into the subject's head. Cool. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Interesting. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Damn. This is cool. This is like uh, kind of in-depth. This kind of reminds me of like... Uh, this portion, like the Mind Palace stuff, reminds me kind of like the evil within. The Mile High Strangler case. Proud of that one. Cool. Like just being in this room and whatnot. It's really basically the only thing that kind of reminds me of it, but similar, you know. We got is this me? Miss you, kiddo. Oh no, it's I'll be home soon. It's the daughter. I didn't know if it was me while I was in grade school. If only the rest of the bureau knew what a softy Casey is. Yeah. Well. Still can't can I still not go in here? No. I guess not. <laughs> It's not giving me an X, but okay. What we got here? My first ever prank on Casey. A true classic. We just unscrewed the salt shaker. You, prep scallion. This mug always cheers me up. Not the worst, Mom. Uh, it's better than nothing, right? What's on the TV? Nothing. I like how in your mind palace you have an old school TV with a VCR. That's always awesome. I would probably have the same. Saga can discover new clues by profiling people of interest. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? That's cool, look. Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. This is very reminiscent of Control. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. What Robert the fuck? Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Boy, did I ever. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. But somebody's home. Somebody's home. Yeah, that reminds this wasn't me. wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. A Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something. Hmm. Okay. Place that there. Came from the lake, but why now? Gotcha. Up from the lake. Gotcha. Alright, let's see. Let's check the lake shore. The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Hang on. Okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait. There's another lunchbox over here. See you in a bit. Take your time. Locked. Oh. They really don't want people coming in here. Well, I mean, I, there is a dead body. Don't want to ruin the crime scene, now, do we? Is there another lunchbox out here? I would like more papers for whenever I start blasting. Hello, this is Agent Anderson and Agent Casey, FBI. We'd like to come in and ask a few questions pertaining to an investigation. Okay. Nice talking to you, too. For real, huh? That was very blunt and abrupt. Click. I'm gonna go this way. I think uh, I can, I'm sniffing out a, uh, a lunchbox. I gotta sneeze. Wonder what's inside. <laughs> I should take a look around for a way to open Confused, this thing. follow these steps. Wash your hands. Take the chicken out of the fridge. And take a nap. Wash your hands. Take the chicken out of the fridge. Take a nap. A creepy twig sculpture? Oh, is it more stuff from my case board? Okay. Sure, let's pop in here. Hmm. Let's see. Hey there, Mr. Deer. 
You remind me of a dream I had. Okay. Okay. Ooh, guitar. Wash your hands, chicken out. So wash my hands. I guess I'll go to the bathroom. Let's see what if there's any symbols on the walls in the bathroom. Okay, triangle up, triangle down. Okay. Ah. Triangle down, triangle up. And what was that side by side? Okay, yeah. Where's that one at? Uh, and this? Ah, oh, there we go. Haha, -ha, boules and more. Don't take anything if you aren't one of the trees. Well, I don't think I'm one of the trees, but stash found. Roger that. I think I saw. I think I saw. I did. I did saw. Anything? Get lost, Anderson. Just you know, exploring. You keep going your own way, my dude. I'm just. I want to walk around for a minute. You know where to find me. I'm just uh, poking about. What's that? Is that a cairn? Hmm. All right, let's see. Anything here? Bound to be something here, yeah? Writing this down in case it happens again and I forget, I get that feeling again. It hit me suddenly at 1.15 a.m. after I'd finished my ama on the porch of the trailer. Ama. Is that what those things are? I got into the car and drove, chasing it. Starry night, not much moon, as expected. It led me past Bright Falls to Cauldron Lake. I tried to find the right spot, the right emotion, the right thought, the combination to have it all align to make it happen. Terrified it would, it didn't, not this time. Frustrated but relieved. Scanned the sky for the shapes, the objects, nothing, but when I blinked repeatedly, I think I saw the afterimage of the octahedron. It faded fast. When I got ready to drive back, it felt someone watching me, but here, not, but here, but not here. It's him. I know it is. Does he know I'm getting close? I'm on the right track. I was born to come to Bright Falls. Hmm. Okay. Yeah, whatever you say, pal. Hey, another lunchbox. You like that knitting, the knitting hero? I made it just for you. It, I had it made just for you. I oh, will appreciate that. Thank you. Very kind. All right. Well, let's just press on. I don't know if I'm missing things or not. You know, I'm still tr getting used to uh, getting used to seeing my screen like <laughs> like this. Just two black bars on either side because I had to bump down the fucking resolution so I could play the goddamn thing. I had to turn a bunch of stuff down so I could play this goddamn thing. This one of your hunches, Anderson. Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From a lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. Right, where's he at? Ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. Where'd he go? It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night. Possibly nude. <laughs> the killers knew he was here. Possibly. Him, dragged Very. him to the campgrounds. Strapped him to the table. Cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Oh, hey, I haven't I hear figured you. that part out yet. Mm -hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us hey, to find. Hey, my dude. All right, let's go. I'm, I'm following you, pal. Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. Well, you know. I like uh, wandering about in forests. It's fun. Provided you don't meet face to face with a 
bear of some kind. Oops, sorry. Oh, you can lead on, my dude. I'm sorry. I, I don't mind me. I am very scatterbrained, especially whenever it comes to this kind of thing. Trees got that big. Oh, is I not supposed to find that note yet? Gives me the creeps. You need to get out more. Yeah, you definitely do. It is kind of creepy, though. Aha! I was just in the place uh, where I shouldn't have been. <laughs> There's a piece of paper on the ground. Uh huh. Tracks, barefoot, nightingales. What does that say? They come out from under the boulder. Why can't I pick the paper no up? Sense. The paper, please. Why are you fools? Oh. Let's say some some FBI detective you are. A page full of text on one side, not a printout, written with a typewriter, old school. Hmm. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm hmm. Like a manuscript. Like Alan. Page of writing. story. Mm hmm. Hmm. Killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own, FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. Hmm. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, the words. words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An hey, Alan. Looking How handsome, my dude. Even, Even if they, they knew it would end up hurting them. What the fuck? Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Yeah. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. All right. Let's, uh, I guess profile some more. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. You must dig it out. Something was put inside him. And that's why they cut chest. him open. I must find out what. Or did they put it in after they cut his heart out? I mean, that's probably... Victim was one of their own FBI. Yeah, gone missing 13 years ago, and it suddenly turned up and only be murdered in a brutal, bloody ritual on the day of their arrival. And then there was the page, this page, the first page they had found, not the last, the first step down into terrifying depths, secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Reading the words, these words felt like a message, was a message. That would be trippy. Let's see. Footprints. Cold trail. I think he came from the lake. But his tracks make no sense. He walked through a boulder? Anything else here? Found all I can here. Okay. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Oh, so we gotta go back to the the body now, eh? Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? Guess I guess. Points of interest cases track objects and information that Saga has acquired. Start at uh, acquired a chart. Okay. Bright Falls area. Cauldron Lake area. Okay. Cool. So I can kind of keep track of, uh, looks like I'm missing some. Cool. All right. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. All right. Well, let's go back and, uh, and take care of that. I'm still missing a lunchbox out here, though. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. 
The text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? Blech. They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Hmm. Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? All the above? It is a it's mystery. All about control. I, I do have a map. Oh shit. Okay. Something else in the trailer. Perhaps. Let us find out. Okay, let's see. Guitar. Nice TV. There goes, um... More symbols. Ah. Let this be a warning to you, fellow trespassers. They say the lake is a caldera, something formed by an erupting volcano or the sinkholes it leaves in its wake. But what if that's not true? What if it's something else? Something less natural and much more man-made, intentional? I say the lake's not formed, it's designed, and it has a purpose. The lake is a hiding place. Beneath the calm surface lies a secret machinery ready to be activated at the press of a button. And the people with the button, they're in that big house by the lake, preparing. I know it. First drawing, water line. Real caldera is made from a volcano. Lava. Second drawing, water line. Engineered structure. Strange machines. Ah, nice photos. Okay. Interesting. Did I get rid of that? It did. Cool. Alright. So I can't go to the ladle. I think I've been pretty much everywhere that I can go to right now. Alright. Heidi. How do you do? Deputy. I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure. Well, but the sure. coroner will be back in town for another week after Deer Fist. Not a problem. Deer Fist, I'll know. do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Odeer Diner in town. Ooh, the Odeer Diner. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. We're clearly in, like, Washington, right? The Pacific Northwest. No, oh, thank you. Shortcut key. Cool. Thanks. Let's get the car. Drive to Bright Falls and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. Very well. The diner, right? I, I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. But what about, um... What about that buzzer? I guess I have to go back there at some point. Whatever. Shortcut key. This way, Max Seems Payne. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Maximus Payne. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. <laughs> Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Yeah, this is clearly Washington. Uh, I think that area, so this is very heavily inspired by Twin Peaks as well. Um, and that diner and everything from the first Alan Wake, you know, even. Uh, just a huge Twins Peak, Twin Peaks shout out, basically. Um, which is fucking awesome. I love Twin Peaks. Uh, I really want to go to that diner where you I'll be back in a second. Roger. can actually go to it. And that's just so cool to me. I want to go and see that shit and the area surrounding it uh is fucking so pretty it's beautiful there's another lunchbox hopefully be oh hey look at that we're all in this together hero have a heroic day why thank you oh no oh. there we go oh top view up there there we go oh i'm missing a few cool well, thank you. I'm just going to slowly... I can't go in there. Alright. Thanks for uh, being so understanding. My scatterbrained, you know. Jeez. I'm just going to get used to... I can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed. Tripod. Tracks leading to a dead end. A tripod for a camera? To record a 
snuff film? Maybe. Well. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. Because he's carrying something in his chest. But yeah. I'm going to get used to looking at it like this. Just because it's still nice to look at. There's so much going on like in any given scene. That's so dense and packed with stuff. That it doesn't really take away from it. You know, having turned down textures and resolution scales and things like that. Just so I could get it to run. I mean... Naturally, it could look incredible, but, you know, them's the bricks sometimes. I'm just fortunate enough to be able to play these kinds of things uh, in general, you know, so whatever. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. Where's wildlife in the Pacific Northwest? Yeah. Calls your like the fence was easy to climb over proper gear and skills, which I thankfully possess. Next goal spotting. Okay, so this is a bird watcher. Wait, sounds are getting closer. Moved inland foliage is stunning. Must come back and fall. Had to stop and sketch this gorgeous vine maple just all the way. Methuselah's beard hangs off of it. This is why trees are better than people. Saw some drunk guy staggering around the forest earlier, acting weird. Maybe drugs kept my distance. Should probably find another spot. So annoying. Decided to change spots again, moved up the mountain a bit, found a fantastic overlook to a camp, but I'm more interested in the Alaska onion grass. Invasive but edible and surprisingly tasty. Started hearing wolves or wild dogs or something like ten minutes ago, but they sound wrong. Rabies? Want to leave before, but the sun going down, my stupid phone is dead. Something's not right about this place. I'll say. <laughs> Buddy. There's ritualistic murders and fucking crazy shit like that taking place. I'm going to go up the... Go up the hill here, Casey. I know you don't like hiking, man, but I love hiking, so. Ah. Well, I mean, you know, just hiking for the sake of hiking, I guess. I'm literally just hiking. Hello! Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. Sure. I guess I can't go anywhere else from here. Really, I mean, I could go to the rental cabins, I guess. No, I can't. There's a conversation over here. Hang on. I'll look around. Hey, oh, See you in a bit. it's you again. Take your time. It's just you. Okay. Thornton told me we're shipping the body out. We'll, we'll take care of that. Proper police work. <laughs> you can trust us, like you can trust the um, uh, FBI. It's on my jacket. Uh, that was beautiful, Thornton. <laughs> what the fuck? Do you have anything else to say now? Okay. Yeah, that was beautiful, Thornton. <laughs> These guys. Shut up, Thornton. They can still hear you. Hi. Okay. All right, buddy. I'm gone. We're going back to town. No way I can I can stop this recording. It's getting it's getting long, but welcome back, Anderson. Thank you, Maximus. Or Casey. I apologize. I keep calling him Max, but I just can't associate him with everything anything else. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. Oh. My sound is gone. Damn impressive work so far. I've never seen killers reach out so directly. Your before. technique. These hunches. Damn impressive work so far. We're moving fast. With your technique. I'm not sure about taking the case so far from fast. home, but. Wow. I wasn't sure about Severely out of so sync. From home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Well, <laughs> what the fuck? Oh God, it's so pretty. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office. No, I'm also I mean, the first game looked I'll fucking awesome, anyway. so I mean, you know. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. Damn. Good shit. Very cool. All right. Well, we in town. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. Yep, you are just like the Twin Peaks detective. Maybe just not as enthusiastic. 
Alright, well, hey, we made it to town. It still looks great. You know, the first Alan Wake game looked pretty, so it looks pretty. Um, but yeah, well, despite all the technical difficulties and the game not being the best optimized thing on PC at the moment, a uh, very interesting intro. I like it. Uh, I, r I really just like the style of this universe anyhow, and uh, I, I really like the, you know, the detective work and stuff like that. It's really cool. If not, you know, not super in-depth, but still cool, still fun to... to piece everything together on the little board uh strong opening uh like i said i only wish it hadn't left a bad taste in my mouth from whenever i first started recording i had to restart several times from that point of uh nightingale crawling up on the lake because i mean it would just absolutely shit itself as far as the frame rate goes and it wasn't there's ray tracing's not even on it wasn't on to begin with so i don't know what's up with that i, I guess it might just be cpu heavy and it's it's throttling my my uh, my CPU, but hopefully they release some uh, patches for you know stability and uh, optimization and things like that, so we can kind of enjoy the game and a little bit more fidelity. Because I know that I could push more fidelity with this card. Um, you know, at the very least, should be able to to play the game with my true screen size. Um, anyhow. Uh, just, just a, just a few gripes, you know, for a game I've been waiting for for so long. Um, but yeah, uh, hopefully you enjoyed this first part. I can't wait to dive into more, and uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see where the story takes us. So far, so good. Um, so yeah, uh, if you liked it, leave a leave a like, subscribe, hit the bell button so you can get notified whenever I put up more parts to this and more parts to whatever else it is that I play at the time. I think I've got Hogwarts Legacy video coming up. Uh, on the channel and uh, I'm sure there there'll be something else around the corner as well always is so until then you guys have a wonderful day and you know watch your back if you're out in the woods uh, you don't want to end up on a picnic table but naked and without a heart <laughs> yeah. bye